y'all. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kiki. Um, today I'm coming to y'all with a um, pregnancy update video. And basically, um, just letting y'all know how everything's going. And I am 25 weeks now. And I will be 26 weeks Monday. <coughs> Excuse me for one second. Okay, guys. Um, like I said, I'm coming to y'all with a pregnancy update. And I'm 25 weeks. I will be 26 weeks Monday. And let me see what I can tell y'all. Okay. Um, um, if y'all have watched my previous videos, this made some videos ago, but I don't know how many. I told y'all um, my first trimester, I was very <laughs> sick. Meaning that I would always feel like I'm going to throw up or my stomach just was so upset. But I never threw up and still haven't thrown up and I'm 25 weeks. So that's good because throwing up can hurt, but to get it out can feel good. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. My voice is in and out. But um, my weight, as far as my weight, um, <clears throat> I would gain three pounds, lose uh, one pound then lose them all then be back at my normal weight but um i am already on the bigger side so you can't you're not really supposed to gain a whole whole lot of weight when you're pregnant in this size so um i try not to really eat eat, eat. i have my times where i really don't eat and i have my times where i want to eat late at night which is not very very often it just be when um <clears throat> i guess it's like <clears throat> excuse me y'all my my throat only time i really eat late at night if i done ate around six or six thirty or seven and then around 10 i'm back hungry 9 30 10 i'm back hungry my stomach be growling i'll be like lord i need to get up and eat i don't really be hungry just be i guess the pregnancy because my stomach i feel like i have not ate at all so yeah, I'll be um that's but it's not I, I, like out of a week. I maybe do that twice a week. Sometimes none, but try not to eat and lay down, you know, at the same time. And y'all, I just bleached this hair earlier. This was my all black um Brazilian all black hair. I don't know if I talked about this hair before, but um I don't had this hair for like over a year. But I bleached the bottom to like this light color and the top part portion to like a dark, like 33 color. And I'd use a 20, 20 volume developer. So yeah. And I got my part, sideway part. And yeah, my face is still breaking out, but it's trying to get better because I went back to using something that my dermatologist had um gave me like over like a year ago it still was good so i use start using it and that seemed like the only thing that's trying to take my bumps away but my um pregnancy doctor had gave me something um it's somewhere on the dresser it was this right here called i can't even i'm just gonna show y'all <laughs> She had gave me this, and it really wasn't working. It has, like, 1% solution for topical use only. It has, like, alcohol in it, and it wasn't used, It wasn't working. Which, when I read the, um, when I read the instructions, it said it don't take away the bumps. It just, um, try to stop them from forming, like, you can see. And I'm using natural light from my window <laughs> but um man, man, yeah okay and y'all that don't know which y'all should know i'm having a girl and i will be revealing her name when i do have my baby i know the name but i'm gonna wait on that but um i'm so ready for this to be over with because one thing that is going on with me that i never ever discovered being pregnant this is my third child and i haven't had a um a baby in seven years my baby child which is a girl she's seven my first child which is a boy he's 11 so yeah big jump but um <clears throat> one thing that i'm really having that's really really aggravating me is um inside of my thighs it hurts so 
so bad. Like when I sit down for a long period of time and get up, I hurt like I've been running or exercising in the bones inside my legs hurt so so bad. It's it's horrible. Like um weeks and weeks ago I was putting like being gay and hot hot rub on there it would work but you know it wears back off and i didn't know was it wasn't safe to use it which it was on my thigh part it was it was in between it's like in between my thigh part on my left and right leg both legs it's like them bones are so so tender <clears throat> like when i even want to stretch out it makes it worse sir so i don't know what what i can do if you done this if you don't had this problem before in your pregnancy please let me know because I did some um, research on my own, and I seen where people was going through that, and like their muscles in their vagina were hurt. Which I'm not embarrassed to say, but the left side of my vagina hurts sometimes. And no, I don't have sex a lot and stuff like that. It's not coming from that, but all of this didn't start hurting until I got pregnant. So I know it's the pregnancy, and you know your placenta gets bigger your stomach getting bigger you gain so much weight and you know you're growing another baby you're growing a um, person inside of you so <clears throat> that can cause it and it's irritating sitting down for so long getting up it irritates me so so much like it really do and um <sighs> Yeah, my due date is July the 20th, but I do have to have another C-section because I had C-sections with my first two kids. Only because of my son, he was premature and he and he um he didn't come. Like, I didn't dilate on my water broke or anything. It's just that I was like 15 when I had him and I felt like he wasn't moving a lot like he's supposed to. So I went to the emergency room and, you know, they put the little monitor and stuff Oh, you so they monitored me for a while and they saw that he really wasn't doing like moving like he's supposed to. So that's what happened with that situation and they had an emergency C section. So he was born six weeks early, so I don't have to have a C section ever since then. They say once you have one, you always have one. Even though this is a long part for me having my daughter, I and I do want one, honestly. <laughs> I mean the pain afterwards is horrible. Do not get me wrong. But I don't want to push the baby out of me. I'm just, I'm sorry, but I don't. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of recording time. Get y'all a view of my stomach. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting out there. A lot of people's like, you do all in July, you're not gonna make it. I don't wanna hear that. I'm gonna make it, trust me. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, um that's all I could tell y'all right now. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know or ask me. And I do take prenatal vitamins. I do miss them sometimes, but the majority of my pregnancy I've been taking them. And I was taking vitamin D um some calcium pills because my bones for my bones and stuff but I stopped taking those because my doctor told me to take them but I stopped taking them but yeah you guys if you have any questions feel free to ask me and I'm Kiki if I didn't say that at the beginning of this video and thank y'all for tuning in to another video I mean may I have a blessed Saturday I'm trying to find me something to do I want to go out of town or somewhere shop or anything but talk to y'all in another video bye